we're traveling from Tokyo to Kyoto and thanks to InsideJapanTours.com we've got one of these which is a Japanese rail pass voucher which when you get to Japan you can exchange for one of these which is a Japanese rail pass which gets you on the bullet train. You can buy your voucher in the UK and exchange it in one of the many JR offices for the Japan Rail Pass when you arrive. This one is at Tokyo Station. The exchange process takes about 10 minutes or so and you need your passport to validate the paperwork. If you can, it's probably worth exchanging your voucher before you intend to use it to give yourself plenty of time to get through the process and find the office. We did it the day before, but being Tokyo, the inevitable still happened. We've been doing so well today and we're two stops away from our hotel and we're completely lost. But look, uh, don't know if you can see that. We found our way back to the hotel eventually. It was a load of fuss about nothing. Anyway, the next day we were ready to start our trip from Tokyo to Kyoto. Something I learned on this trip is that you can still reserve a seat on a train with the Japan Rail Pass. You can just take it to any JR counter and they will book you onto the train that you want. Once you've reserved your seat, you can head to the Shinkansen section of Tokyo Station, grab some snacks for the two and a half hour journey and pass through the barrier. If you have a Japan Rail Pass, you'll need to show it at the gate. It won't work in the ticket machine. Once in the Shinkansen area of Tokyo Station, you'll need to find what track your train goes from. Don't worry too much, the signs actually rotate between Japanese and English, plus every train is numbered, so it's pretty easy to find. If you have reserved a seat, your ticket will show you a car number as well as the seat reservation number. So when you get on the platform, you know which part of the platform is the correct place to stand. When the train arrives, you can find your seat, the luggage goes just above it, and then you can sit back and relax and enjoy the two and a half hours between Tokyo and Kyoto. Here's a tip, if you are travelling from Tokyo to Kyoto, reserve some seats on the right-hand side of the train for the best views of Mount Fuji. Alright, you caught me out, this was from a previous trip. Uh, this time the weather looked like this. Not quite so lucky, but, but still some good views on the way. Before we knew it, we were arriving in Kyoto. I hope you found this film useful. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips and check out my other film from Kyoto, spending a day there with a sightseeing guide.